which just talk about uh, the start of a new season and in the exhibition game against Minnesota State. Yeah, really excited to get the season underway. We've had a great training camp uh, with our limited time with the guys, but we've got a lot of things in accomplished already. And you can tell this time of year, guys are, are excited to, to play somebody else and to get the season rolling. And for me personally, just really been impressed with the group, really good, good group of players working extremely hard and really excited to, to watch them play an exhibition game here on Saturday. I think uh, with the with the change of rules when we're allowed to play another NCAA opponent now, I think it's a really big advantage to, to face a quality opponent uh, like Mankato right off the bat to get some really good feedback. I think that's what we talk to our group about is there's an opportunity to, to give us some feedback on where we're at, how we're doing. And so to have a, a good opponent like Mankato right off the bat is great. And it's also an opportunity to play everybody. And you know we'll dress everybody for the game, which you're not allowed to do during the regular season. So it gives an opportunity for guys to showcase their abilities and for us to evaluate the players and uh, help us prepare for the starting of the, the season the following weekend. I know the preseason rankings are, are just that, but I mean, uh, what did you think of it after you know finishing third last year, um, being a bit low in the back in the preseason poll? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, that's just somebody's opinion and I think you just have to just focus on yourself. I think that's one thing we talked to our group about, just make sure we keep that focus internal and and worry about ourselves, worry about what we're capable of doing, how are we getting better day in and day out, and, and that's all you can control. So just keep our focus internal, make sure we're doing everything we can to be the best team we can, and, and I'm confident this group will, uh, you know, will we'll surprise some people as the season progresses. What's the excitement level for you, or what's the feeling as you start to get acclimated with your team and get into some meaningful hockey soon? I was saying it last night, I think this is one of the most excited seasons I am to start the season. I think so, sometimes as a coach, you know, you're, you know, the season is your busiest time, and I think a little bit of the opposite. Now I'm excited to get into the rhythm of playing games and just getting some real feedback on how we're playing, and it's an exciting group to coach. It's, it's probably been one of the best groups I've had for coachability and culture and team unity and all those different things are really gelling together this year, and uh, it's a special group, and, and those are guys you want to coach, and those are guys you want to play games with. Some of these players that are new have already talked about what the culture inside this locker room is like, and you say it's that different from any of the players going in. As a head coach, like just what does that make you feel for the culture that you've established here, just knowing that the new players are so welcomed already? Yeah, I think it's special. I think anytime you get a chance to, we were we did a radio show last night, and just to hear the players talk, it brings a smile to your face to hear them, how they talk about the program and the culture and treating each other, and that's something you take a lot of pride in as a head coach. And so to see how... Um, you know, how well it's perceived inside the locker room. And, and again, the players are a huge part of that. We have an exceptional leadership group here. And, and guys that I think come here want to experience that, and they love that stuff. And I think, uh, you know, good people like good people and high achievers like high achievers. And I think that's kind of the culture we've formed here and continue to work on. Um, but it's special to hear it from the player's point of view, for sure. Coach, you've seen some of your uh, combinations develop back on the blue line on the forward lines. Uh, but is that a work in progress that just kind of keeps going a while, certainly through this exhibition? And who are some of the guys you like putting together? Yeah, just recently we've kind of tried to get some line combinations going a little bit to give the guys a little chance at some chemistry before the play. But especially early in training camp, we wanted kind of everybody to play with everybody, everybody to learn everything. We had everybody doing power play, everybody doing penalty kills, just to try to you know, make sure we're teaching everybody an opportunity to learn a specialty or to play with certain guys. But as you progress that season now, we kind of want to narrow our focus a little bit more and look for some chemistry amongst the Lions to help those guys, you know, perform well when it matters the most. So uh, we're slowly kind of trying to, to see where guys are in a fit. But uh, as you know, it, uh, it's an ever-changing thing. And, and we told the guys yesterday, you know, don't get worried about too much where you are right now. Don't get into comparison game. Just focus on getting better. So I'm sure things will change as we move forward here. But... We're definitely trying to kind of see some chemistry at this current current point. With newcomers, but more of that are transfers. What do they bring to the group this year? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I think uh, just kind of adding some pieces, maybe a little bit older, a little bit bigger guys with uh, Zach Ertel and Jesse Lansdale and Dom Vidoli and uh, Noah Ellis and then Annette with Seth Isley. So nice to add a little bit of experience there. And, and guys we previously recruited a little bit as well, too. A couple of those guys we were after in the original recruiting process that – chose other schools and so to, to add them now kind of a second time around to get a chance to work with them is exciting and I think to your point earlier they fit well with the team and really 
understanding the culture and are not here to change it, but here to enhance it. And I think uh, when they have that mentality, good things happen. What do you know about Mankato, Coach? They have a new new coach this season. Yeah. I know Mike Bates there. Yeah. Yeah, I know their coach, Luke Strand. Uh, he's done a good job at the USHL level and obviously was at Ohio State before. So probably won't spend a ton of time pre-scouting them um, just with it being an exhibition game and being a new staff. So um, I spoke to him the other day. I think looking forward to, to a good, hard, hard game and help both our teams prepare for the start of the regular season. How do you think it'll be starting on the road for the season instead of at home for Boston? I'm looking forward to it, especially with our, our heavy home schedule coming up here following that. I think to get on the road and get a chance to kind of just experience a road game and you know not as much pressure as playing at home in front of the crowd and let those guys kind of get their feet wet for, for this season's team, I think it's going to be an advantage to, to be a, in a good opponent on the road, especially early. How does this experience of last season with them have helped them kind of motivate this game this week? Yeah, I think you can look at it two ways. I think sometimes when you, you know, you, you, you know, obviously you never want to lose that last game of the season. So it's definitely motivation to the season. But also, hey, this is a, a new season as well. And this is the, the one time we'll get an opportunity to be this team for this year. And so I think really our guys are kind of really focused on today and, and you know, what today can bring for us and how we get better today. And this is its own team and we'll kind of write our own destiny. So really looking forward to, uh, just kind of starting a new season here, and uh, but do definitely have some high uh, high goals for ourselves to achieve. As a former uh, Maverick defenseman, uh, how difficult would it would it be? Do you think to, to crack that current defense score? You got a lot of a lot of good ones, a lot of players in that rotation. Is that a strength uh, from the net out with this team? Do you think, Mike? Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of very similar players too, right? So I think it's going to be competitive environment back there, uh, you know, for ice time and for playing time, which is a good thing and. I think everybody has some, you know, different qualities to their game. So it's going to be fun to watch, you know, just who kind of keeps progressing in their play and their development and, and who ultimately maybe ends up earning, you know, the, that, that top playing time. But also, I think they've been really helping each other get better by, by that internal competition. So um, there's going to be lots of moving parts, but I think it's going to be one of our strengths this year for sure. Along those lines, in terms of uh, competition playing time, you are able to address everybody on Saturday night. Is there a plan going into a rotation to sit some guys out a period? Mm -hmm. Do you dress the full bench and just kind of let them go play it by feel? What, what's the thought there? Yeah, that's that's something that we've done in the past where maybe we remove a line after a period or two and let uh, let some other guys play. I think right now with we got a couple injuries actually right now, so uh, that usually happens in hockey. So it might actually just be okay for. Uh, we might not have a ton of extra body, so we might be able to just kind of keep everybody dressed that's healthy and and keep that lineup throughout the whole game here. So I definitely think you want to get everybody, you know, you want to get your returners guys, their feet wet, so they feel comfortable going into the season, but you also want to give maybe guys that won't see as much ice time during the regular season some chance to, to show themselves and get some college experience as well. So uh, we'll see how the game goes, but the plan is to get everybody in there and hopefully get everybody some good minutes and uh, get a chance to evaluate and also give them some good experience. Mike, again, ahead of our fast break, but it came yeah. out yesterday you're going to start next year in Las Vegas. So yeah. what, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's I think that's great. We're, we're playing a tournament this year in Phoenix. I think next year we got a, a turn tournament in uh, in Vegas. We got another announcement that's going to come out. I don't know when, but we got another tournament scheduled for next year to another hot destination. So I think uh, anytime you get to go on those you know big profile tournaments on the road, I think it's great for not only the players but. You know, lots of fans, I think, are excited to travel as well. So I think it's going to be a good thing for the team and for the fans and for the program to, to get some exposure at some of those big tournaments too. So I know we've worked hard to try to get in some of those kind of high-profile tournaments, and it's, it's fun to be a part of one, if not two, next season for sure. Can that be a rehearsal for the NCAA tournament where you have to turn over fast? You're playing somebody yeah. one night, suddenly you got to turn things around quickly and be ready for that next opponent. Is this kind of a good rehearsal when you get in those tournaments during the regular season? That's a great point, Terry. I think those are fun to play. And I know even just last year, just playing in the Maverick Cup for the exhibition team, the guys liked it. It's a little bit of a something's on the line at the end of the day, and you don't get to do that a ton during the season. So I think anytime you get a chance to play in tournament play, um, it's good for your group. So the guys I know will be looking forward to that uh, opportunity to, to win something is always fun for, for competitive people. Awesome. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.